This video is going to be how to jump start your starter or how to short your starter or how to straight wire your starter. Uh, this is the uh, solenoid switch. This is the starter. This big pole right here has a wire that goes from it to the positive side of the battery. There's a little thing right here. And you put a wire on that. And basically all it takes is a small charge of electricity, so it takes just a little wire to that. But when this is energized, it joins these two poles together. And this pole is basically the solenoid connecting this pole and this pole. Now you can take a, we used to do it with a pair of pliers or a screwdriver, but you can take a pair of pliers, one that wasn't insulated, and jump it across and spin this. But sometimes it doesn't kick the solenoid, I mean the Bendix, which is the gear back here, out. Um, the reason I bring this up is because I made a video a while back about using this little gizmo right here, which is a thing that'll let you push the button and turn the car engine over, like that. Now, the way you would hook that up normally would be to hook one wire here, which would be the one to activate uh, this pole, and one wire here, because this is the one that's going to be hot all the time. Now, because this is a Chevy... Chevys are kind of hard to get to that. Like, the starter is up in there, and those wires go to the solenoid, which is tucked in up under the motor, which is kind of really hard to reach. And But this red wire that's hanging down here is actually the wire that goes to that. And so what I've done here is just come up here on the firewall, and I found that red wire now this is a hot rod so yours may not be wired this way but basically this wire here is that same wire so i basically hooked one end of this starter mechanism this button it's basically all it is the push button to that and the other end to the hot wire of the battery by the way this red wire is not the hot wire it's just the wrong color this is the actual hot wire right here on this one and so basically all these two wires do is touch each other you could run one wire from here to there and get the same thing you know you could just take a wire and stick it in here and go over there and touch that and do the same thing now the switch is off on this car so it won't start and i don't want it to start because what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull all the plugs out and uh, we're going to use that compression meter that you have to stick in each individual hole to check the compression but when i when those two wires touch each other basically the engine turns over now in the old days, the way you would hot wire the car is you'd, and I'm not even gonna show you that because I don't wanna teach you how to steal cars. So we just, but basically you'd get fire to where fire needs to be to get make the engine run. And so you got two parts. You got fire to the ignition and you got, and you got the starter turning over and you got a car running. Back in the old days, kids would steal cars that way.